name is Mike. Tin Mike. Destroy her. Squash her like a cowardly lion. No, you have no heart. None of you. Don't help me. No. Wake up. Phone for you. I'm off to the mosque to find out about halal meat. Who is it? It's somebody called um Tin Mike. No. Jews have kosher food, Maoris have boil up, Tongans have roast pig, Muslims have halal meat. It's not something that happened overnight. For them, it's based on religious belief and a lifelong commitment. So, for 50,000 Muslims across New Zealand, what is halal meat and why so much importance placed on it? I guess we're just gonna have to find out. <laughs> New Zealand, meet Mohammed, who's one of the trustees here at Masjid Uma, Mount Roskill. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Mohammed, are there a whole lot of different ethnicities that are Muslim here in New Zealand? There are 41 different ethnic backgrounds of people that come to this masjid. Are there many Pacific Islanders that are Muslim? There's people from the Pacific Islands, uh, Vanuatu, Samoa, Tonga. Nearly all the Pacific Islands are, are represented in this mosque. call that I heard before, is that the call to prayer? Yeah, that's a call to prayer, which is, uh, happens five times a day, and that basically tells the, the followers that it's time to come to prayers. You must also remember that Muslims can pray anywhere, not in a mosque. Now, we're here to find out about halal meat. I guess we've got to start with halal. What does halal mean? In Arabic language, it means lawful. Yes. So halal meat is lawful meat? Either beef, lamb, or chicken, and not pork. Firstly, the person cutting the meat has to be a Muslim. Secondly, the animal to be cut has to be healthy. The third thing is the premises basically have to be certified as a halal premises or abattoirs. And you must have a, a sharp knife mm. before you cut and you must say the words, Bismillah, Allahu Akbar. That means I am slaughtering this animal with the name of God. The, the blood of the animal is haram, which is not lawful. But um, to make it halal, the animal has to be um, drained from all its blood. When you guys are doing this, how important is the soul of the animal? Our, our creator has created this, every single thing that's in this earth, and it is creation from our God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that we are basically this, think that this is the best humane way of actually slaughtering animals. So with the halal process, would you say that it's giving back dignity and respect to the animal? Yes, it is, because I mean, everybody has a life, whether it's an ant, or, or a sheep or, or a fly or whatever. Everything does have a life and we have dignity for human beings so the same thing happens to animals and other things as well. And I'm here today for a halal journey. Yes. Could you take me through the prayer process? I certainly can. Well, thank you, Muhammad. It's a real privilege being here at the mosque and showing me what halal is about. Can you show us now where the meat part is processed? Yeah, we'll now take a trip to San and meet Farouk the butcher. Let's go meet the butcher. What's up, Farouk? Yes, how are you, boss? Good, 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 good. New Zealand, we're at Khan's Butchers with Farouk the butcher and halal slaughterman. Now, bro, you got a pretty cool shop here, and I hear that you're one of the oldest halal butcheries in Auckland? Yes. How many years? It's about 20, 22 years. And you are the oldest shop in Auckland? Yes. Islam is one of the biggest religions in the world. Yes. Does New Zealand export a lot of halal certified meat? Yes. Especially Saudi Arabia, even Brazil, London. Here at your butchers, is it only Muslims that are buying halal meat? No, actually it is a good question. Is I have a lot of mixed people buying meat in this shop. I have a 50% other religion people, say, Kiwi people, Chinese, Indians. Even I have a Maori customers as well, you know. Does halal meat taste different? Well, um, sometimes the customers ask what is halal meat, so I explain to them, and they will really say, oh, this is really clean meat, and they're happy to buy and they come back. Farouk, I'd love to try some of this halal meat. Yeah. Is there some place where we can do that? Yeah, why not? So here we are, and we've got some beautiful halal food prepared for us. Now, would you normally bless the food before you eat? Yeah, we recite uh, dua, this uh, supplication. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We start with the, with the name of Allah. 
We say Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Bismillahi wa barakatillah. That's like the Muslim grace? Yeah. yeah. And now we can serve up? We can serve up. Let's try it. It's pretty good. Well, I just want to thank you, Muhammad Farouk, and the people here at Masjid Umar, for such an awesome day and for giving me an insight not just into halal meat, but into halal as well. If you guys do want to know more, do check out our website below. See you back at the house. See you later. Hi, I'm Neta. Hey, I'm Ongo. And Pacific Beach Street rocks. rocks. <laughs> Kia ora, this is a shout out to Pacific Beach Street. Ko hikurangi te maunga, ko waia putewa, ko ngāti poro te iwi. My name's Kume, go by the name Echo, representing 9849 Entertainment and Rare Rat Clothing. Cheo. So awesome! Keep that feedback coming! Now, if you can't do it personally, then send us your videos, your thoughts, and your wishes online. Coming up after the break, the Cabin Bread Boys. And Corinne's second-hand robot story. So here she comes.